So today uh, we're going to go through the setup of an EOS Aero Gold GNSS RTK receiver. We're going to configure that to work with the 0.1 Polaris network and show you all the steps involved. So normally you would have this on your uh, survey pole and it would mount to the pole here since we're inside. We've brought an RF connection to our device from an antenna that's mounted on the roof. So you plug in your antenna and then you'd power on the device. Once you've enabled power, you should see some lights on the side. You'll wanna make sure that you see the power LED and that the GPS lights are on. Uh, you'll also occasionally see the Bluetooth indicator blink, indicating that it's searching for your phone. So we're gonna go in and uh, open the EOS Tools application. We'll connect to the device, and then we wanna make sure that we see our approximate position here uh, in the EOS app. The first thing that we're going to have to now do is set up the differential correction service. So go down to the menu where it says differential, and then you'll see a series of fields. For the IP address, you'll want to type in the address of the Polaris service. It's simply polaris.1nav.com in the US, and in Europe, it will be polaris-eu.1nav.com. Your username and password will be in the uh, 0.1nav web application. So we can switch to that application here. In our device list, we'll have to create a new device. So we'll go ahead and create an Aero RTK. You can name it whatever you like. And we'll see that the Aero RTK device has been created. I can go to that device and see my username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the username Put that here and then go back copy the password and paste that in and then hit the get mount point button here i'm going to be presented with a list of our base stations you can automatically use the optimum base station by connecting to the polaris mount point so go ahead click that and then uh, you'll see that the polaris mount point is selected in the menu you need to make sure that you have these options all set and you can hit the start button and what you should see is a timer start that indicates that it's now connected to the polaris service if we go and switch back to the status of the device switch to an rtk fix and that's indicating that it has the highest possible accuracy and you can see the rms accuracy reported here is eight millimeters so that's obviously a very good solution and that's what we'd expect to see on the polaris network if I go into the web application, I can actually see that my device is actually reporting its position, it happens to be at our office at 6 and Tahama. This uh, is a very great way to see that both the network is seeing your device, and then in the EOS application here, we can also see that it's using the correct um, service and position and everything. Furthermore, we can go into the RTK status item, and we can see that we have all of the different frequencies and signal types across all the different constellations active. And so that's um, very good and that's what you'd expect to see. So at this point, we're ready to survey. You can go ahead and use whatever survey application you like um, and that will work the standard way that it would for all of the applications that you're using today with your EOS Aero Gold receiver.